an important step for creating a multi-year implementation plan for esports is to really think about the big picture and how an esports program is going to align and support the mission and vision of your district or school. And so to this extent, this is why we're doing this first activity in preparation for that work. By exploring how esports can directly support and align with our purpose statements for our district or school, it really helps us not only as a team to understand more deeply what we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it along with some of the different key ideas or concepts we want to ensure that's part of our program. It's also a way then to more effectively communicate to our stakeholders about what we're about. And we have all kinds of stakeholders. We have decision makers, we have influencers, we have others and parents and community members who will play an important role uh, once they have an even better understanding of what we're trying to do and how esports in the districts and schools is not just about playing the games. It's so much more when we think about college and career readiness opportunities, as well as digital citizenship skills and global professional skills, such as communication, collaboration, critical thinking, and empathy. These are things that are so important to utilize for developing in our students. And esports is a way to do that because for students, who are gaming, they'll buy in, especially when they recognize that building these skills is going to help them be better gamers. And at the same time, they're transferable into other areas such as academics and college and career opportunities and readiness skills. So with all that, it's a big mouthful. And this is why we're gonna be doing this activity where your team is going to map out what is the connections of esports to your purpose statements. Let's get started by looking at this document and seeing the parts that we'll be completing. The opening part, you'll see that there are links to resources from examples that from other schools, as well as a list of really helpful resources and references port adding annotations to the narratives that you'll be writing in the crosswalk to show citations and references that back up your claim of what you see as important areas that the esports program can support your district and schools of purpose statements, mission, vision, values, and goals. So these are really worthwhile to read through, check out, have conversations around uh, with the team to have a clear and common idea about what you believe in, what you feel that will support. And then as you fill out this document, you'll be able to that understanding that thinking and make reference links where appropriate so that you can refer back to those when and if stakeholders have questions about certain areas that they'd like to learn more. going to take is you're going to fill in the left hand side with your purpose statements, your mission, vision, values, and goals. Now, some areas uh, use belief statements and those can go here as well. You just add the appropriate roles for that. Or if you have belief statements, say instead of values, then you just replace values with beliefs. Whatever are your purpose statements and titles, it's important that those are accurately reflected here in this first column and that we put in all the language for those parts. Once we have these parts, this crosswalk alignment to show how eSports shows and supports each indicator that you have entered here. And this is very important because as a district or a school, we have our purpose statements that we stand by to ensure that all our students who go through our institutions are successful so that by the time that they graduate from our schools or districts, that they are moving forward with the skills and understanding and experiences that are laid out in our purpose statements, beginning with our mission and vision statements. And with that understanding, we wanna look at how eSports can and does support each line item of what we believe about our purpose. We can help our stakeholders 
see and understand what are the connections that esports has in helping our students become the, the type of graduate that we are envisioning by the time that they leave our organization. Being on filling in the second column, do so you want to consider as a team when you're filling this out? You may want to, as a team, do the mission and vision statements together as you have had some common dialogue around sports. And these are the big picture components of your, and so looking at this as a team can be very valuable and shaping as well as helping everyone get warmed up to the task of how esports is a crosswalk and looking at the bigger picture together and then completing these two sections can make a big difference before going on to the rest of the sections, which in those you might break those up into chunks for breaking your, your team up into smaller groups who will tackle these specific line items and maybe based upon their specialty interests or expertise or just you know as educators and community members they everyone has a unique perspective about what this can look like when we come together and we shape what the crosswalk is for esports to our mission and vision statements which again should be our first step here's an example of what that can look like so we see the mission statement is we are a leader in transforming lives through education empowering all students to achieve their potential and dreams and in this instance for this particular district they share a big picture about esports just like there's a big picture about our district or school and their mission statement esports is a multi-billion dollar industry job opportunities both traditional and recently created provide many career pathways to our graduates to become informed and prepare themselves experiences and this is where we get into the direct connection experiences in structured gamer programs such as clubs courses production and competitive teams will give our graduates a competitive edge to enter this field you can see how we go from the general the broad to the specific connections of the program that we want to include in our plan and that's what they have done if you have other things you might add, include those if you have fewer you you'll just limit to those areas in this case you can see right from the beginning we're looking at a really good expansive program that is looking to provide access to all students as well as make helping all students feel welcome through these many different avenues that they can choose from so we go to the vision statement the district in collaboration with an engaged community is committed to ensuring that each learner achieves his or her potentials in a safe caring academic challenging and diverse learning environment that will develop productive citizens for a changing world and with this idea in mind then we look at how esports is going to specifically support these ideas for this vision so in this case for this district looked at was esports offers school sponsored activities that they identify with one national study found that 47 percent of participants in esports stated that this was the first school sponsored program that they participate in uh, uc irvine prior to esports these students did not feel there was something in the formal school culture that reflected their interest to Paul university esports gives access to more students to quote feel connected to the school culture gregory rothwell and other authors and creates opportunities to develop deep skills with digital citizenship based on the isti standards for students the gaming community has pockets of anonymous people behaving poorly due to feelings of frustration and playing badly a formal esports program enables sponsors and coaches to mentor students in positive and productive behavior that supports safe spaces for all to game compete and have fun such digital citizenship skills are transferable into all parts of the school community and classrooms so you can see in this particular description there are citations to several different studies and articles that support these ideas you can also see here that there are embedded links that go to some of these sources and so this is something that you can do you don't have to embed sources but it's helpful and that's why we have the list of references for you in this document that you can go to to do some of your own searching and exploration to have a broader area of knowledge of what's available that supports your ideas in education. So now we're ready for our next step, which is to 
complete the rest of the, the purpose statements that represent our school or district. And this is an area where you can again do it as a group, although uh, you might consider at this point breaking your group into smaller groups who will then tackle a portion of this list and explaining what the connections are. And since as a group, you've looked collectively at the larger statements where your mission and vision really sets the table and sets your compass as a whole group as to what you're looking at and what you believe about how esports can impact students and your school communities. This is a good place to now to break up into small groups and make those assignments. Once the small groups have completed their tasks and filled in this second column, now we want to come back together as a whole team and look at each line item and have the group that composed the language to explain their intent, the meaning behind what they, they showed and explain. And then as a team, talk about, does this align with you as an entire group? What changes or adjustments you might want to make. Sometimes it's just a matter of word choice that you want to explore. This is a rich conversation potential opportunity to really deepen everyone's understanding and alignment for how eSports represents and reflects and supports your district and school's purpose statements. And after you've looked at each of these as a group by each line item and approved it, then you're ready to, to go. you're ready to now share this document uh, with others and stakeholders. And of course, you'll be including this in your implementation plan. 